Okay, today's uh, May the 1st. Right. And uh, we're in Chicago. So we're here right now. It's May the 1st. May 1. Here's May the 1st. They May the 1st. And Haymarket is only four blocks away from here. Right. And this is uh, Warren Lemming yeah. and the Lincoln. Lincoln Brigade. I thought you were all going to say at the same time. And we're here together. We're actually jamming with no script with um, a whole bunch of uh, very nice, patient uh, volunteers for Chicago Access Corporation, Public Access Television. And uh, there are several things that brought us together. Uh, but the main one is actually May the 1st, which is Labor Day all over the world, mm -hmm. and here too. Well, yeah, they don't like to admit to it here, but uh, they have to because it <laughs> happened here. You know. It happened in Chicago. We were uh, in Mexico. I'm from Mexico. My name is Felipe Ehrenberg. And uh, we celebrate, today is a very, very big day. I mean, they're marching up and down all over the place and remembering, amongst other things, the martyrs from Chicago. But the thing that brings us together here is um, uh, art, which is a very dangerous word mm -hmm. in some places. I've noticed. Yeah. And a very lucrative word in other places. Yeah. Yeah. And um, somehow or other, circumstances brought us together. Uh, Warren, the Lincoln Brigade, and a uh, painter, a very good young painter called Joe Matunas, who's sitting there watching the, all the monitors going. And a very good Mexican composer, also called Alejandro Velasco. And myself, somehow or other, I found myself stuck on this platform by Bob Bolt and Bob Hercules and um, a whole bunch of other accomplices. So I, we had never met, really. No, uh, Lincoln no, Brigade, true, yeah. the Joe Matunas, yeah. Myself, we, Alejandro, we had never really met. Mm -hmm. and, it's um, good to meet on May, May Day, too. It's good to meet on May yeah, Day. I think, yeah. We can celebrate this meeting every May Day. Every May Day. Right. Uh, but there's, you can tell me better than I can, or anybody yeah. else, what brings us together? Uh, well, um, as you mentioned, um, not just the May Day, but the fact that uh, art has something to do with uh, the cause of people, uh, not just here, but worldwide. Uh, we're celebrating not just May Day, but um, the fact that artists like us, like yourself, work. Right, work. On Sundays. Yeah, work on Sundays, yeah. Why work? And, uh, and we're here, in a sense, to celebrate uh, through, our, uh, through what we do. We play uh, music, uh, we paint. And I must say, you're a very, very hot guy with a spray can. I've seen, <laughs> you, I've seen you work with that before, and I was pretty impressed. Yeah, graffiti is very dangerous also. Yeah, yeah. But um, somehow or other, the Lincoln Brigade's tunes mm -hmm. do mesh with much of my imagery and, mm -hmm. uh, and with the Joe's intentions. We have an enormous banner that Joe did today for, uh, or a few days ago for the Haymarket. Fantastic uh, banner. It's an incredible banner. And uh, so I think the best, the best thing to do is shut up and listen to Lincoln Brigade's music. What are you gonna play? Uh, we're gonna open with a song called The Vacationer's Song. As you know, Felipe, uh, Americans are having an increasing problem, as North Americans are having an increasing problem uh, uh, when, they, when they go south uh, these days. And it has to do uh, with the present uh, political administration and a number of other factors which we attempt to address in the course of the song. It's called The Vacationer's Song. I like that very much. Thank you. Two, three, four. Havana was divine. There was sex acts and gambling and organized crime. At affordable prices every time. Days of room service and wine that along came Castro. Ah, oh, you should have been in old Nicaragua. For a dollar a day you own Managua. Down on the beach they live like millionaires, standing on the veranda in their leisure wear. Reading Cosmo and Vanity Fair, then they got Samosa. Magic nights in old El Salvador. It's samba with a junta until four. Ah, uh, Spanish got so good. Gosh, I felt creative. Some places you get shot just for going native. Some are fun in exotic Bolivia. 
Now this may seem like utter trivia. I met an old man in the market making baskets and he said, Hey there, muchacho, what's your income net? You mean that I spend more in one day on my wife than you're going to make in your whole life? And he said, see, 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 Yankee, no. See, 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 Yankee, go. Oh, but how they used to holler for the Yankee dollar. Now they got Chiquivara, where the hotels were five star. We couldn't wait to fly down to Chile. Servants haciendas just hours away. And then the CIA got Allende. Now General Pinochet is much more friendly. But you hear it everywhere, it's in every market square. They say, see, 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 Yankee, no. See, 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 Yankee, go. How they used to holler for that Yankee dollar. Now they got Chiquivara. Where the hotels were fire starter. So if you're thinking South American holiday, get in your Chevrolet and stay. Find a little restaurant, something fun and run down. With tacos and frijoles, book fight posters all around. After you've said your last ole, remember the, the good times are getting more expensive every day. Cause we're running out of places. No more parking spaces, running out of places to go. Okay. That's okay. the uh, the vacationer song. That's vacationers. Yeah. Well, between uh, uh, travel logs in Miami Vice, the palm trees and all of these things are becoming a very, very uh, uh, familiar landscape. Yeah. But when we um, saw each other just before the program started, right. you mentioned something about one single country, and I insisted that it wasn't one single uh, individual countries, that it was one big war. Yeah, in Central and South America today. Yeah. Well, it'll, uh, it'll take a little time, I think, before the, uh, the, the, the public, I think, finds out about these things, because uh, uh, it's very hard to read between lines. Yeah, yeah, and it's, that's, a, that's why it's a good thing that the artists like yourself are coming uh, um, north, shall we say, to, uh, in a sense, um, let people know um, what is going on, yeah. because there's a, lot of, there's a problem here with Somehow or other, it seems like artists have to uh, get it into themselves just to give information more than create things. Yeah. There was a little button there that says, why work when you can be a slave to art? And I think <laughs> in those cases, it's her. <laughs> What other songs do you have around? We're gonna we're gonna close with uh, we got one more number we'd like to do. This is um, uh, called Nightlife. Nightlife. Yeah. 